What's up everyone? We will be doing a part 4 for Mario Kart 7 in this playthrough. So, we've actually covered up the Grand Prix of actually going through all the cups and we actually got in first place for everything now. We have a bit of cart customization to get, I think two more last ones or maybe there might be actually possibly more. We've also discovered there's a Mirror's Cup as well which we did t try that yesterday but now this is the second whereby we're going to be testing out the other modes you can play in Mario Kart 7 just to showcase what you can also do in Mario Kart 7 so let's go and check that out. Okay, so let me um, get the game on my screen and let's play. So I don't know if there's any more unlockable characters we do need to unlock, but it seems as though we might have gotten every character. So no um, Toadette actually, there's no Toadette in this one, I just realized there's no Toadette in Mario Kart 7, I'm kind of sad though, like I actually do like playing the Toadette, I like the Toad, like I said, I do like the Toad, so let's actually go into tri time trials first, so this is the first thing, we can choose ordered characters here, so, hmm, you know what, because I've been talking about Toad, let's play as Toad, we're going to be playing as Toad in this time trial, so we're going to go and use Cloud9, going to use the monster, and then the glider, um, go to Super, because this is the latest one, and then we can choose from any of the stages, really. Um, so, hmm. Since I like Bowser's one so much, I'm going to use... Well, that's, that's not the one I want. I want Bowser's Castle. So, is this it? So, if I click on Special Cup... Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, I'm, I want to do Bowser's Castle first for this time trial, sir. Um, so, we pretty much could do No Ghost. Or, we have... A log of someone um, that is from Metro Series, so the developers themselves. So um, we're gonna do no ghosts. Preferably when I play time trial, I prefer no ghosts. Like I don't really want to be um, concentrated by like a ghost to try to beat them and stuff. But a ghost is fine on other people's end. It's just essentially that you'll just see a silhouette of the vehicle that you're using and stuff, and then um, that's pretty much it. So you got three mushrooms here. I'm just going to pretty much use them all here. So you could use them at any point of the stage. Um, usually you use it in your shortcuts and stuff. But because I don't really know much of the shortcuts, um, I'm just going to use it whenever I want it. So I saw a shortcut there, but I'm just going to use all the, the mushrooms so I can get them out of the way. It's not really per se that I want to get like a, a really high score right now, but I just want to kind of just pretty much showcase that there's a difference when you do play the time trial compared to the Grand Prix, which is pretty much essential that there's no drivers around. So, you see there's no drivers around, there's coins still around, so you can still collect coins. So the coins will be used for your um, cart customization um, as an award. But other than that, there's no drivers, there's no IM, so essentially this feels like a normal driving game, really. And, you know, that's the nice thing about time trials, really. Is that sometimes you just want to relax and you just want to play your favorite stage without all the hassle or hiccups and stuff. But at the same time, most of the time, if you do boot up a Mario Kart game you actually do want to play against <laughs> actual people or AIs and stuff so it's not something weird but I would say like you know this is the main part portion of the game but I, I've always loved extra modes in games so that's why I love showcasing extra modes is because that suppose if you love a game so much um, you could do all these extra modes and play more content out of them so that's what I generally like to do so like I mean I like Mario Kart 7 um, so far I like pretty much a lot of the modern Mario Kart games, so Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 8, because they make it so simplistic, and the modes and just fit in right. Now, the character selection now, I'm kind of, like I said, I was kind of disappointed in no Toadette so far. There's no Toadette, um, there's no female Yoshi as well, I think it's Birdo, there's no Birdo as well, I think that would have been pretty cool to have those characters as well, unless they were DLC. If I'm not quite mistaken, but you know, from all the characters we unlocked and stuff, instead we've gotten like weird ass characters like Lakitu or Shy Guy or um, who else was the other one? Riggler. <laughs> the Riggler, yeah, like it, that was like an actual enemy from the Mario game they just put him in and stuff like that. Whereby I feel as though there could have been more diversity with the characters chosen and stuff. I know that this was before Splatoon times or 
before Breath of the Wild times. Because I know that Zelda, or should I say Link, is in Mario Kart 8, and then um, the Splatoon um, people are in the Mario Kart 8 as well. So that showed the rest of other games, but I like to see characters from this universe, from Mario's universe, the connected universe, really. So there we go. As you can see at the bottom right corner of the screen, you see our time. It shows pretty much the stuff we used and also the time lapse. That is pretty much it. And you can view, replay, change character, change course, or retry. So we're going to actually get out of time trial. So that is the showcase of time trial. If anyone wants to use the time trial in Mario Kart 7, there you go. That's pretty much it. And you can use any of the stages. Now we are going to do balloon battle. So let's actually try someone else. We are going to try, you know, we haven't used Donkey Kong in a while. So let's go and use Donkey Kong. Can use the same vehicles though. And let's see, we got the CPU easy, normal, hard. So we're going to use hard because we've done 150cc. doesn't matter if you get screwed over. We just want to showcase the level itself. So the stage, we get to choose. Ash, yeah, we get to choose the stage because I want to showcase the stages. Um, items, we will do all the items. And then teams, no. So you can actually do teams in this balloon battle as well. So I, I believe that balloon battle is just that you have to hit the other opponents and their balloon gets taken off and then they have a certain lives of the balloons and once their balloons are um, hit, then that's it. So we got the GBA Battle Course 1, we got the Big Donut, we got the Palm Shore, Honeybee Hive, Sherbet Rink, and then Woohoo Town. So I'm not going to choose any of these three because these are ones I've done before. I don't know if any of these, I think these may be new ones. So let's go with Honey beehive first so i'm going to start the battle and let's actually get it started so as you can see donkey kong has three balloons and we collect these iron boxes if you can get one uh all right there we go now we got one and we just throw it. oh that is not a good throw <laughs> that was not a good throw uh okay so let's get one more okay we see one right in our face okay this is a mushroom maybe you could oh no oh we lose a balloon if we fall off that's good to know as well <laughs> okay so whoops there we go let's see who we can get now so we got three shells three greens Uh, okay, another one. Nice, got one. I think I got Warrior there. Oh, and I got here as well. Okay, red shell. Ah, oh, that me done? Oh, we keep going. Okay, so it's not about like if you lose your blue, you're out. I think there's a certain time limit. So, mushroom. See if we can. Oh, we just missed it. Just missed running into them. Okay. Ink, everyone. Oh, got hit with the green shell there. Okay, we got I am now. Oh, got hit again. Oh, at least we got Bowser. So we got a first point. So if we're the first one to knock the last balloon off the opponent, then we get the point. Oh, it looks like um, that's it. So time is up. So the time limit is actually counted at the right bottom corner of the screen. And as you can see from the results, um, Cooper got six points from there. So that was that actually. So that's um, one of the extra bonuses you can do from the balloon bell. So before I go into another game of balloon bell, I want to try coin runners. So coin runners, grab as many coins as you can. This time we're going to go as Bowser. And we're going to keep the CPU hard, stage choose, all items, and then teams now. So we're going to click OK. And then we'll see what to do here. We'll go with Sherbet Sherbet Ring? Sherbet Rink? Rinky? Rinky Dinky? Okay. 
<clears throat> we, we will do this. So we're going to showcase the coin battles here. So we see the coins here and you just keep on collecting as many coins as you can. So the time limit, it seems, is, is two minutes to do all this stuff. So And also the cool thing as well is that you get your items and you can throw the items at other opponents. So when you throw the items at other opponents, they lose their coins and you can actually grab and collect them. So now we have our items as well that can defend us up. And also at the top of them, as you can see here, this guy has a lot of coins. So I'm going to just keep in hitting them and try and get some coins off him as well. So depending on how much coins you get, it's always on the top of your head. So you always want to look out for the people that has the most coins at the top of their head so you can attack them with an item. But at the same time, you always want to try and look for every iron box you can so you can always be protected by yourself because there's always going to be someone behind you that is looking to attack you and grab all your coins. So you've got to have to look at it because like, there'll be a certain point whereby there'll be no coins in the stage anymore and pretty much, oh, that was a nice dodge there by Koopa. Koopa had something behind him. But yeah, you just want to kind of keep on going round and round, understand where the items are and also be on the move. You don't want to be standing still. That's one thing. So you don't want to always be standing still. And the cool thing about these modes is that you can also play them online or local multiplayer with friends as well. So the options is there. It's not just like you have to always be racing. I mean, yes, racing is pretty much the main portion that they put so much effort into. Um, but other than that, you can also do all these other modes as well. I'm also on the right bottom corner of the screen, you can see how much coins you have if you're in first place, second place and stuff. That's another um, good um, decider as well. So currently I'm in first place of 8 coins. So the next person is Cooper. Also you can see the items as well on the screen, which is um, pretty good as well. So you can kind of be aware of who has the items and who doesn't. So there you go. That's, that is it for the coin runners actually. You know what, we're going to keep on going, oh, do we, if we say next battle, what does it mean by next battle, does it mean that I just do the same state, okay, okay, good, 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 so, I want to do another coin battle, but we're going to do the last one, which is Ruhu Town, that hasn't been chosen yet, so we're going to use Ruhu Town for this one. Okay. So each of the stages represent different types of how it um, looks and stuff. Oh, ready off the bat, we already got hit. So yeah, each of the stages have different very um, level design. Some are linear, some are more open. This one looks like there's a lot of corners to take care of and go by and stuff, and you just walk around, drive around and stuff, and yeah. And I think the good thing about this is that they're always guaranteed to give you about like eight characters in each of the maps so pretty much Nintendo has pretty much been like okay so we've got these big maps um, we don't need to worry about how much number of um, characters are included and stuff it's just that oh these maps are designed with eight players in total so usually if you go around a corner and stuff you usually will find someone there so that's the good thing about it it's like you don't kind of like wander around and look for people and stuff so that's that's why I like generally okay so everyone's in the setup part So we can kind of just circle around the center, get someone here. There we go. Oh, just missed Yoshi there. Okay, grab another item here. Bananas. I'm keeping getting a lot of bananas, but. Um, I'm currently tied for first place. Okay, let's grab this. Oh, let's grab this coin actually. Before we. Oh, there we go. Oh, got someone. No. Oh, someone grabbed the coins. That's the thing as well. Even if you attack someone, someone can still steal your coins from somewhere else and stuff. So if they're close in the vicinity, they can easily steal your coins. That's pretty much it. So time it up there. And also, it still shows the points from your ongoing games as well. 
So if you do want to just play through all of the stages and stuff, they will carry out a total points and stuff. So you can keep on going, say like, you know, Shadow Link and Wuhu Town. Um, it'll keep on carrying on. If you say next battle, it means that you're still in it. So um, we will do one more for coin battles, which will be the GBA Battle Course 1. So we'll do that. And then afterwards, we'll do two more for the other one, the other mode, which was the balloon battle. So we'll showcase all the modes here. So we got a shell. No one nearby. Green shell. Got one. Nice. Oh, yeah, this is still coin runners. Oh, I, was, I was thinking that it's just balloon battle. No. <laughs> I haven't changed it yet. I haven't changed it yet. Oh, nice. Oh. No, don't take my coin. <laughs> and especially not you, Wiggler. Oh, I missed it. Okay, we've got three now. Also, we do have a mini map behind as well on the right bottom corner of the screen, so we can see where everyone is visibly. So, if we're close or nearby as well, so it's always good to pay attention to the right bottom corner of the screen for the mini map to see where your opponents are visibly at. So, there's no one near around me. I'm gonna drop the bomb here, but I just wanna see if we can get another item. So, now a red shell. It's definitely easier to do on the 3DS because of the fact that you can um, you have your screens pretty much adjacent to each other so you look at the bottom to show yourself racing and then you just look at the top and you see the little mini map so it's very nice and convenient like you know for Mario Kart games to be done on the handheld with two screens I think it's pretty much clever like one screen is you know you driving and then the other screen is whereby you are facing off against the opponents and stuff and find them off uh, let's see if we throw nope and keeping getting quite a bit of green shells here and all these guys are a little pretty, pretty much rich I'm not really in the high parts of the section here there we go so honestly I think with these mini games you don't really have anything to unlock so like if you do these mini games you can't really unlock the other cart customizations really it's just that you can keep on playing these stages and stuff but if you really want to unlock cart customization you have to do the Grand Prix but yes, let's quit the game. We will go back into Balloon Bell to showcase more Balloon Bell. So Balloon Bell, and then let's choose another character. Let's go with Metal Mario this time. And let's do Big Donut for the N64. Okay, so, Big Donut, here we go. Hmm, this one's pretty just standard. Hmm, can I get anything there? Oh, yeah, I don't think the mushrooms do anything, really. Go on, like, really bumping them and then bust the balloon out. See if this grabs anything. Oh, it does, there we go. Oh, I see. So the points, it doesn't really matter if you're the last one to knock their balloon off. It just means that if you just knock an actual balloon off, then you get it. Hey, you got my balloon. So yeah, just keep on hitting as many balloons as possible. See, so now I've got three balloons. doesn't matter if it's the last one of the player. So we've got an idea in there. And... Oh no. I think I did suicide in myself. Because I used to have three, and now it's just. Oh, it's because, like, if, if you lose all your balloons, then you lose a life. Ah, gotcha. Ah, I see. Yeah, let's speed up a bit. Let's grab an item. Drop a banana here. Maybe someone might fall into it. Mm, 
Okay. Got the tail. I don't think it's going to be any useful now, so I want to switch. Uh, I can't switch. Ah, that's about. Time is going down, and it seems as though Shy Guy is going to win this one. Yep. Okay, so Shy Guy is in first place. Okay, next battle. So we're going to be doing Palm Shore now for this one. Just to wrap things up. Okay, so this is the last showcase for the maps of the uh, mini games we can do. Hmm, now where are the items? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm running around, I'm like, where the hell are the items, dude? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Where the game? Oh, it's in the center. So everything's in the center. I see. What a weird um, choice. Because, like, you get it? Like, like, are they just telling us, like, oh, yeah, you need to get the items first, and then you run <laughs> to the outside of the map? Is that it? It's like, everyone's just going to be in the center, just bruising. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if we can get some of the detail. Bam. Here we go. One. Oh! Ah! Luigi got me with the red shell. Yeah, because whenever you stop, that's when you just pretty much going to just die there. Oh, I got it before you. Okay, flower. See if we can find something here. Oh, one. Let's see if we can get another item set. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> Nikita got me. Okay, we got a red shell here. So, Yes, got one. Maybe they should have got more iron placements, like on the outside, because the only thing you're just going to be circling around this island here, really. That's pretty much it. There we go. Six. It's easy to get um, shots in. Oh! And that made me lose my um, first place there. The moment I got hit there. And that's pretty much it, actually. That's pretty much it from the balloon battles and the showcase of the um, coin runners. So that is the mini games you can do here. Um, honestly, I'm still kind of tempted to do a bit more, actually. So we can actually still do a bit more. So let's go back into balloon battle and let's choose Mario this time. Um, let's see. We can just do... Hmm. I still like the all items there. Oh, we should showcase the teams. Actually, we should do teams. So we should see how teams work. That's a good idea. So we can do teams here. And instead of doing choosing it, we'll just do random. We'll do random. Random teams on Balloon Bell. So we don't have to need to choose the stage. And we'll do three teams for this, and then three teams for coin um, runners. So we're back in the stage we just did before. And pretty much, we we are the red team. We are the red team, and we have to look for the blue team. And pretty much shoot them. So we see a blue team in here. We got one. And even though we're still like on different teams and we've got teams and stuff, we can still see who's got the highest mo amount of points at the bottom right corner of the screen. Okay, now we're gonna look for something else. Bam! Oh, okay, nice. Ah, just a mushroom. Can't really do anything with a mushroom. Oh, that's definitely what I wanted there. I think you can also probably 
do um, AI fire as well at your teammates, which will be pretty bad. Let's drop some bananas down. Oh, got hit behind by Bowser. Yeah, because honestly, it's just the iron placements that catch me off guard. It's just that you have to circle around this little island here, and there's not really much you can else you can do. That's the um, honest part around it. Oh. Yeah, I'm just getting mushrooms now, so there isn't really much action on the screen, unfortunately. It's either mushrooms or you're getting hit, so there's not really much else I can do in this uh, favor right now, so that's kind of the shitty thing around it. I mean, at least I got one there. Five seconds to go there. So let's see who wins. I think blue team wins. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, blue team wins by 9 points, so 5 extra points from our red team, which was only 4 points. So let's do the next battle. So is this random show away, if we just go next battle here? It is! Okay, cool! So this is kind of like the best way to play, is that you get all the modes set up first, you put it to random, and you just click next battle, and then you're right in the game already. So this is definitely the best way to do these uh, mini games for coin battles, and the... Well, yeah, the coins and the balloons. So if you ever want to play this mode, you should do this. If you've kind of been familiarized with all the modes, if you just want to try out all the modes, then yes, you should go the first way of how I did it first, whereby you have to choose the modes. Or if you just want to play a specific mode that you like, then you just go to choose mode, really. So there's always an option to choose both and stuff. But if you want to have like a long playthrough session of doing these mini games, then you should definitely go with the randoms. Um, So far, the team battles seem really fun to do online. So, like, suppose if I did play this game online, um, I think this team battle mode would be really fun. That would be really interesting in doing as well. It seems really cool. Okay, let's try and snipe someone here. Yeah, I see one. There we go. Oh, nice block by Bowser. Okay, another one. Uh, you can't dodge that one this time. Okay, now the greed shot. Which was a dud. Right. Oh, it just hit one of the penguins. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Mama Penguin doesn't come after me now. Oh, nice. That was a nice night there. Like, I got into the side of the car there. Even though you had this reach. Oh, no. I <laughs> need to dodge that. Now, where's the blue guy? Here we go. Yeah. Doing much more better than last time. Uh, get rid of the green shell. Oh, you can actually get a star in this, but it's very random to get a star, really, isn't it? I mean, unless the star is only used if it's like a handicap in a certain situation. So, because like right now, I'm just getting green shells. Okay, so time is up. So, we still lose as well. <laughs> wow. My teammates. Like, what are you guys doing? Koopa, Lakitu. I never liked you, Lakitu. And then Metal Mario. My doppelganger. Like, what are you guys doing? Alright, so let's go for the next battle here. Let's see what we got next. Ooh, the Honeybee one. This one's not that bad, actually. Let me grab this one. Lakitu. Uh, let's see. Green Shell. Oh, just missed off. I think Green Shell is pretty fun. So, like, it feels like, um, you know, choosing all the items. I think the most fairest one is the Green Shells. So, that actually, you know, takes skill to actually just aim up and fire and stuff. And I think that's pretty great. Because if you just have the Red Shells all the time, then it's just easier to get kills. Really. So, if I ever saw this, like, you know, in a really... Um, cool way to play online, like you just use just green shells only. Just throw it behind. Yeah! <laughs> that was pretty dope. Okay, green shell here. Uh, let's get this one now. Oh, 
Whoa. Okay, we got the tail. Oh, my tail's gone. Okay, got a red shot here. Donkey Kong avoids it. Put a banana here. Oh, let's throw it behind. Oh, did we get someone? Yes, we did. I was just looking at the mini map there, and Bowser ran right into it. Nice. Uh, mushroom. But yeah, this is definitely one of the coolest maps I like so far. Definitely small. Definitely, you can just pick up IM. So like every time you use an IM, there's always an IM the next room, and I, and I definitely enjoy that one. Whereby you're circling around rather than just being in the center. Like I don't like that island one. That one was pretty lame, but this one is um, I like a lot. Uh, the actual modes, I mean the maps. So time is up. Let's see. So I got most of the points here in it, but let's see. Let's see in total. Oh. Oh, because this is carrying on from the last game as well. So that's the thing. It's like it doesn't kind of tell us exactly who won and stuff. So. Um, let's do one more. I kind of lost count. Maybe this is the third one, or this is the fourth one. Oh, it's found final round anyway. <laughs> it's final round. Okay, so the game pretty much decided is like, okay, this is enough. This is enough for you. This is definitely the final round you can actually choose. Like, no more. It's like, yeah, your your curfew's up. Like, you you got to go to bed, Johnny. Maybe they should do like a capture the flag in Mario Kart. Like, there's two carts on once um, both sides, and you just capture the cart. I think that actually worked. <laughs> you know, I I know it's not like an original idea, but I would love to see a capture the cart. I mean, capture the flag in a Mario Kart game as a mini game. Now that I think about, it, I think it could possibly work. If I oh okay, <laughs> gotcha. Okay, because. By this logic, someone could defend it, and if you get hit once, you just respawn, and you have to respawn um, to the side of the flags. Someone grabs the flag, the speed of the person carrying the flag doesn't change really, but they just can't throw items. So if they try to throw it or um, hit items, then the flag gets dropped. So they have to just dodge and move around and stuff. And a 4v4 capture the flag on Mario Kart just seems very interesting at this point now. Ah, I got you as well. Nice. But it's just that stages like this takes a while. Oh, star. Let's just wait for the star to come off. Once the star goes off, then we can hit him. And there we go. If actually, no. We need to be a bit more closer. So there's kind of a radius as well to actually hit these guys. You can't actually hit them straight away. See him here. There we go. Gotcha, browser. So we're getting much more better, actually. That's what I've noticed. We're definitely getting better at these mini games. Fourteen points. All right, next. So we go and hit next, and then let's see what happens. Does is there another thing? Oh, nice try. So you see the final standings. And that's pretty much it, if you do like a random select. So, let's actually do coin runners and do randoms and teams. So let's do Luigi this time. Uh, random, all items, teams, yes. Okay, so we're going to start the battle. So remember, three different stages selected randomly, and it's going to be kind of like a Grand Prix. You have to do the old best in all the three maps, and then if you win. So let's see if we can actually get a win this time. So I have to pretty much carry my team. We are on the red team. Okay. So the only way that we know that this is a blue or red is if they have coins on the top of their head. I have no idea. Unless, yeah, I know. Okay, I can look at the variable corner of the screen and then look at the characters and their colors and stuff. But right now, um, 
Oh, and you also they have like a blue silhouette around them, so Yoshi is right behind me. Oh, I should just threw at Daisy. Uh, I try to chuck the red shell behind on the Yoshi, but oh, and I get hit as well. Oh no! Let's grab some coins real quick. Let's ignore the iron for now. Let's just grab some coins. Oh! That was a good snipe there. Whoever did that, that was really good. Okay, so we got a lot of coins now. Oh, and I see that. Yeah, again, the blue team is really strong now. Like, they got so much coins on them. Oh, oh boy. That was a good hit by um, Yoshi there. We need to steal some coins. We definitely need to steal some coins right away. There has to be some coins we need to steal. Okay, tails out. Let's see if we can catch up to Luigi. Oh, oh, this guy's big. Oh, and you're big as well. Let's see if we can get some coins here. Uh, what is this? He was pretty much recovering. And I couldn't hit him. And he took all the coins. How come I can never get any team like that for my team? Oh boy. Let's grab this real quick. No, Daisy, why do you take my coin? Yeah, like, apart from Mario, like, all the rest of my team didn't do anything really. It's very hard for Wario and DK to be put in, but at least we do have the 16 point lead. Okay, so next one. Let's see what we get next. Okay, the second round. I hate this map so much. It's just, I get the second round just at this point, really, to grab your items. And where's the coins at? Like, is the coins only in, oh, there's a few in the cracks here. Okay, but other than that, oh, maybe we just have to wait for coins to respawn. It don't, okay. We just have to look for some, okay, we just chase this guy, sort some coins. Spin in the vicinity and then here we go chuck it oh oh did any coins just oh the coin was there but he still grabbed it uh i think we should just do some coin collecting if we see any coins we should just rather collect it and then we grab an iron now because right now they don't really have much coins really these guys oh that sucks i'm taking that coin <laughs> oh there's some coins here Okay, so if you kind of reach out to the outskirts, maybe there might be some potential coins here as well. Also, I love the whole vehicle change as well. So, like, if you're in the war, you see the propellers coming out behind your vehicle. If you're in the air, of course, the glider comes out. That's one thing um, that is a crucial part of Mario Kart 7 is the vehicle trains. And I love how instantly it does it in um, scenarios. And the the changes of it is that it's so fluid. Like it, you don't just stay in the water for too long. Like you're you're in it for a couple of seconds, you get out. Or if you're gliding, you're for a couple of seconds, you get out and stuff. So, <clears throat> and the animation of how it's done, I actually do like it. Which is in oh, so max is ten coins. You can't get more than ten coins. <clears throat> but people can steal coins off you though. <clears throat> Oh, so even NPCs can <laughs> take coins off you? Oh, that sucks. Oh, this was tough. This one was a tough one, actually. So we got 16 points. We're in the lead by just one point as well. Just one point we're in the lead by. So next battle. Oh, so I think it's four maps we have to choose so i think it's four not three so three of them so we have four rounds okay we kind of just got a bit jumpy there because i did hold the a button before the two was spinning there to actually get no boost so let's see so i think the real fun starts with these coin battles is that probably about a minute left to go that's when a lot of people's got coins and then we can kind of start stealing coins because right now everyone's got like two or one. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Oh, 
Red Shell. That's a bummer, dude. That's such a bummer. Oh, man. And a minus. I'm not getting lucky this time. Okay, let me stay behind Daisy. See if we get something good. Oh, no. Daisy, come back. You're about to pay your taxes, Daisy. Uh, never mind, Daisy. Okay, there's, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them with a lot of coins, so we just have to pick one of them. Let's just pick one of them. Well, they keep hitting me. They keep sniping me, but I can't snipe them back. I keep getting... Okay, let's see. What I do you get? There we go. We got one. Oh, and now we drop another coin. It seems as though, like, every time I hit someone, they hit me back. So, it makes me lose that purpose. Okay, now we get a star. This is good. Ah! Oh. Okay, star, star. Oh, that was such a waste of a star. So, I hit Yoshi, but I couldn't find any of the coins around them. Yeah, they got so much coins, and I'm still stuck with one. So, this is such a bad round for us. Complete. Daisy got nine. They're rich. They're all rich. Nine and six. Okay, we got one. Can we grab it before time goes? No, we can't. We can't grab it. Worst round so far. These um hard AIs are really killing it. So now we're in a really bad position for the final round here. really terrible position so yeah we're in the final round and yeah this this really sucks this absolutely sucks actually okay green shell nope nothing oh i just can't get any coins like every time i just slide them past them there we go Oh, <laughs> he dropped. <laughs> Where you going, buddy? Okay, so that is three coins now. We're in iron. Make that four coins with a greed shell. Ah, oh, just hit his shell. Not that, not Yoshi. Lucky Yoshi, dude. Okay, another iron. Bananas? Oh. So every time you do get hit, it's a minus three. If you don't have um, three coins, oh, and I hate these AIs as well. They can hit you as well. No banana. Oh, and a bump. Oh, no. I was trying to hit my green shell there, but I was still in recovery state there. That sucked. Oh no, and I'm losing coins. No. Instead of me doing something for the team, I'm being the worst for our team. Okay, so we got green shells now. Let's see. Yeah, hit, oh, she only dropped one coin there. Oh, Mario's got seven coins though, that's good. Mario is the carry for this round. Let us all defend Mario. Oh no, she took it. But she had a red shirt, she's so greedy. Okay, three coins. Four coins. Five, even though I can't see. This is am. there we go. Bomberama. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Get this lost coin, please, 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 please. No. I couldn't get the lost coin in time. Um, we did okay. But I don't think it would be a matter, really. Because they got such a marginal lead. Yeah, see? So we couldn't really catch up in the end. So we're going to be seeing that nice try thing again. Yep, nice try. So we have actually pretty much shown all the modes and all the maps for between Balloon and Coin Runners. So why don't we just do one more Grand Prix to wrap things up. So we're going to do 150cc and we are going to choose, uh, we choose Daisy. Choose Daisy, we still choose the same carts and things and then what we're going to do here is, hmm, let's see, what to choose. Hmm. Let's go with the flower cup. 
to um, end it all off. So we're going to go with the Flower Cup with the Grand Prix. So we're going to choo choose the last thing. So this is one of the things you can do in the end is that you can always replay your favorite maps in the Grand Prix at any time. Doesn't matter if you've gone first place or second place, third place, or whatever and stuff. The nature of the game and replay value is you can always do your races again. So that's the good thing about um, doing these Grand Prix and choosing this at any point in time. Um, one thing I wished it could have been is that you could pretty much choose a single race or a single lap and also have the AIs included. I think that would have been pretty cool. Is that, you know, we can do this in time trial whereby we can choose a single um, map to choose from to better our time. However, there's no AIs and stuff. And I think that they could have actually had the benefit of choosing, allowing you to choose a single race at any time you want. You, you know, you, you want to choose your favorite map. But you want the AIs to be included as well. And I think that would have been pretty cool if you could do something like that, actually. Um, I would have really enjoyed it if you can do that, whereby you can just choose any of the map you want and also have the AIs as well. So, you know, um, that would have been pretty cool to do. So you still have your fun. doesn't really matter if you care about your time and stuff. It's just really bad. You just want the natural Mario Kart man. Oh, there's a shortcut down there. That's cool. There we go. Oh, we got hit. We got sniped from behind as well. Okay, let's drift in. Everyone's really stuck here. Okay, let's throw a green shell back. Didn't get anyone there. We got five coins as well. Nine coins now. Okay, let's drift around. And let's do a trick. Nice. And I believe that's it. That's the end of the stage. So we have gotten first place. Let's see what the next race is going to be now. Mario Circuit. Alright, cool. Alright, on with the way we go. Ooh, there's a lot of coins there. Let's see if we can grab some. And some here as well. Let's throw the bar right now. Oh, that was a really good boost there. But we're in the grass of it. It's fine. We've got a kind of good lead here. Oh, <laughs> that was not a good idea. We had a bit too much momentum there. So then when we tried to do a trick there, it just kind of dropped the value there as well. So that's the thing that kind of sucked there. Yeah. Okay, nice. We've got max coins of 10. We're in the, the second lap now. Ooh, let's go. Oh, okay. I, I, I was kind of being kind of um, sneaky there. Whereby I thought I could just boost around the grass there. But then I, I just realized there's a, it's a bit too much of a, a strong turn there. A nice boost. There we go. I'm not gonna do that trick again. Let's just um, play it safe here. Nice. Drop the banana here. On the second lap, now we're gonna be pushing on to the final lap. Let's give it all we got here. And not let us. Oh, and I was about to say, let's not lose our coins. And then that happens. We lose our coins. Ah, oh, oh, <laughs> the double rammy banana bomb. Okay, now let's drift in. Oh, 
We still keep our item though, that's nice. We cease first place, let's boost in. Can we? Yes, we can, we can get it. Nice. But we have lost a lot of our coins though, in those skirmishes. Okay, drop the banana. Seven coins. Let's make that eight to finish off, which is not that bad. Alright, first place. So let's see in the scoreboard. We're four points behind Luigi. So Luigi has gotten second place two times now to show the four points difference. So that's our rival for this Grand Prix is Luigi. So now we're at the music park. Okay, there we go. Nice little boost start here. Oh, nice. Banana. Let's throw the banana down. Try and get our speed back up. We can avoid these piranha plants. Okay, there we go. Nice drift there. Cut around the corner. And then we try and drift here as well. Nice. See when to use the mushrooms at a good time. Yeah. Let's use it right here. Nice! We see first place here as well, so that's a really good uh, mushroom boost there. Oh, but we get hit by the banana on Peach. Nice little banana timing there by Peach. Yeah. Oh! And we get hit by a green shell. Oh, we're just going to boost around with the mushrooms now. There's really no point to actually save it, so we can kind of get some time back. But first place is far into the lead, which is Peach. It's a good thing that is not Luigi. Oh, we're going to definitely get hit by the banana. There was nothing we can do to actually get hit by the banana. Um, I angled my courses way too wrong there. And then here we go. We'll use the glide to get some more air out and try to get some more speed out there. We're in seventh place, but it's okay. Second lap. Um, seventh place is always a good favor, especially if you can see all the car races as well, because of the fact that once you get an IM, it'll be a good IM as well. Oh, I couldn't get an IM there, unfortunately. It's fine. Like, everyone is super close to each other right now, so that's why I'm in first place right now. We're going to take it very slow here. We are definitely not going to get hit by the Piranha plant, to be honest, so... Uh, that was a very early boost. That's why Peach was able to catch up there. Okay, let's see what item we get. Banana, please. Okay, green. Not bad. Nice. Okay, item comes up. Alright, banana time. Let's chuck the banana down. Getting coins. And we should be near to the finish. There we go. We are near to the finish. And we got first place here again. So Luigi down to sixth place. Oh boy. So he's definitely not going to be second now after that. So let's see. We have an 11 point lead. This is the first time we've ever gotten an 11 point lead in a Grand Prix. So if we get first place again, then we will be perfect again. But at the same time, we have perfect this Grand Prix before in this playthrough anyway. So it doesn't really matter as well. When the music notes land, you can do a stunt. Oh, cool. So if I just press it at the same time. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we're on to the final one. Let's see. Let's grab an item here. On with the tail rig. Let's do our tail rip attack if we can actually get close. Luigi, you're down. Grab some coins here. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. From um, jumping off the shock waves. Yeah, I get you, man. It feels like anytime you have any jump or rhythm in this game, it's like you just can do any stunts. 
So that, that makes definitely a lot of sense there. There's one thing I never would able to do, especially for this stage, is that like I don't know any of the shortcuts really. I was always thinking that is these pipes on the left side like considered a shortcut? Because usually there is certain shortcuts in this particular stage, but I don't know if there's any really. Or maybe jumping into one of these pipos. Oh no idea. Nope. <laughs> All right, power glider comes down. Okay, banana. Driving up. Now the blood glider comes through. Now we're in the final lap. Nice. We're very so far in the lead. There's no, and the thing that's interesting as well. This is the only time in this Grand Prix I've never been hit by a blue shell. And then I say that, yeah, that's that's a curse. I should never. I should have kept my mouth shut there. The moment I said that is when the blue shell comes around. But yeah, this whole entire Grand Prix, except for that moment, I did not get hit by the blue shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything on the road and the bump and stuff, I can actually stun from. Yeah, that is absolutely correct. Um, I just need to figure out the perfect timing. It's, it's one of those things where, by like, because I've only played this like a couple of times, I just have to figure out where the bumps are and stuff. Yeah, I, I did speak about the devil. Yeah, I absolutely did. I messed, I messed my shit up, dude. I messed my shit up when I spoke about it. The devil himself, the blue shell. Yeah, <laughs> I screwed myself over. But we did get first place though. So that's a perfect run on this Grand Prix. And let's see our perfect winning celebration. Daisy coming up from the sky. While we're in third place, Peach in second place. And of course, Pete, um, Daisy in first place. So, press the stuff there. Let's see if we actually unlock something as well in the cart customization before we do head off as well. So, first place, yep, we know. Let's go back into the menu. So, let's see. Did we unlock anything right now? No, we didn't. We did not lock anything right now. So, yeah. The speed that means how much speed increase you get when boosting, not the actual top speed. Oh, yeah. Let me have a look. Oh, I see. So, when it, when it comes to the top speed, does everyone have the same top speed in the end? Or does... Certain carts do have certain top speeds. Oh. Oh, it's generally the same between all carts. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm, cool. So, if we had to look at the selection here, so we can see pretty much the best one I've got right now is Bruiser that gets the most speed increase when you are boosting hmm ah that's interesting to know but yes this actually wraps up the last playthrough for mario kart 7 unfortunately um hope you guys had so much fun watching the parts of mario kart 7 if you guys ever want to watch it again or if you haven't um if you want to catch up with the other parts of the mario kart 7 playthrough you can always check out the youtube channel whereby I pretty much post all the VODs of everything I do there, of all the playthroughs I do. So next day, tomorrow, we will be doing a new playthrough. Um, I'm not going to put a surprise yet. Um, and yeah, so pretty much thank you guys for watching this playthrough. And also, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.